Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Pisces. Hope you're all well. Thanks for dropping in. I do appreciate it, each and every one of you. See where you're at this week. Pisces, what is the overall energy surrounding Pisces? Does Pisces need to know? Clear messages and guidance for Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. Does Pisces need to know? Clear messages and guidance. What is the overall energy? There we go. Uh, Prince of Cups and Seven of Wands. Oh my goodness. I feel as though you got somebody coming in to offer you that cup of love, but you're not necessarily going to believe this person. You're really in this really guarded. You got yourself, you got that wall up here. Seven of Wands is my believer card. It's when you don't believe somebody and your defenses get up, you know, and you just feeling like you need to protect yourself here. Let's see what this is all about, Pisces. Overall energy surrounding Pisces, what do they need to know? There you go. Yeah, the magician manifesting. Yeah, so I feel you've got somebody coming in to offer up that cup of love. This is someone here. They may be drinking. <laughs> you see, this guy's forgot to put his shoes on. But generally, I see this as someone with kind of one foot in the door and out. They are, you know, they're romantic. It's dating. But, you know, it's not a forever or for sure thing. So you might be guarded, especially if you have someone coming towards you that you know. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I see Virgo, Gemini. It doesn't have to be. The magician's anyone. You may feel guarded, not believe this person. You may feel like they're manipulating you somehow. Okay. Uh, but I feel as though this person's manifesting you. Yeah, it's a vice versa, more than likely. So let's see where it's going. Somebody wants to manifest a new beginning with you, but you're very guarded. Uh, let's see why. Pisces, what's coming in? What's coming out? What's changing in the love lives of the Pisces viewers? Clear messages and guidance for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Clear messages for Pisces regarding their love life. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Someone's coming back around. Knave of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's pondering, thinking. They're working out the details of a communication. They want, this is somebody who's aiming for success, so they're very careful about what they say. It's a very practical, simple message, generally, with that page energy, the Knave of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's coming back around. Yeah, so they want to offer you an, a fresh new start. Somebody wants to start over. Oh my, you're a little guarded. Let's see why, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces here? Three of Pentacles, yeah. Cooperation and compromise, compatibility, teamwork, being on the same page. Yeah, your intuition's kicking in here. Something here, you're going to trust your intuition on this communication. And your intuition's telling you to be guarded. Keep your guard up a little bit. You're in a little bit of a protective mode. I see this, it's getting a little dark here again. I'm just going to, just going to add a little bit of light if I can to this. There, I hope that's a little bit better. Sorry, everyone. It's getting uh, later in the day with everything on here, but if I turn on the overhead and the surrounding lights, it has a tendency to glare on a few cards. Pisces, Pisces. Focus. Pisces. What do I need to know? What does Pisces need to know? There you go. Ah, okay. Yeah, I feel as though you're not so sure here. There's something that's lacking. Not so sure if someone's right, if they're the right person. So it's telling you to be careful what you manifest or somebody is coming towards you. But yeah, there's something lacking. I think somebody feels insecure. They have a few insecurities here with temperance. This is a need to temper this. Somebody needs to temper those insecurities. We have the star. This is releasing and letting go of that. Yeah. This could be a wish come true. Um, you really could actually get what you want here from this person, but you're quite guarded. There's something you're saying that there's this person saying to you. Your intuition is telling you to not necessarily believe it. Make sure you're on the same page. Because this person, you know, they can be pretty creative, okay? <laughs> yeah, they... They, I do think they want to get on the same page. I think they want to cooperate, but you're not trusting it. You feel like there's something hidden in the message, hidden meanings that's got your guard up. 
Tell me about this Knave of Pentacles for Pisces. Why is this here? Why is this here? Yeah, so there's this energy here of, yeah. So this person feels there's no hope. Yeah, they're feeling, I think somebody is lonely and they're thinking about the, you know, things and thinking about you and how to come back around, how to change things. Maybe just coming around and just starting fresh. Someone's kind of changed how they feel. They need to. If they want to come back around, they need to change this. They need to release this insecurity. Because when somebody com communicates with you and they're insecure, your intuition kicks in that there's something missing. Because, of course, they're not going to tell you everything, right? Yeah, someone wants a fresh new start, though. Let's see what's going on with the world. What is this world energy about for Pisces? Yeah, so yeah, see somebody, there's something here. Somebody's not telling you everything. They're not sharing everything they could. And this is where your intuition's telling you to look at this communication. This person does want to start fresh. I feel they want this fresh new start, but it's their communication is lacking. Something is missing in it. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. What's the Ace of Cups here for? Yeah, so you're looking at this, you know, this is a breadcrumb, right? You're not getting everything you need. You're looking at the details. Yeah, this could be, yeah, this could be something that's happened before. This person keeps coming back the same way, okay, with the same habit, the way they conduct themselves. Coming in with that Prince of Cups. This is somebody with one foot in the door and out. Unless you get that clarity, right? Unless you... Because your intuition is telling you there's something hidden in the meaning. But I feel what it is, this person hides their emotions. Now, they're hiding something here to do with this cooperation compromise energy, right? They know they need to. Uh, they know they, they want to get on the same page with you. But it's this lack, this insecurity, this something is lacking, missing someone's missing you they're feeling left out in the cold they want to talk to you they're pondering it thinking of just reaching out sort of testing the situation this is going to tempt you okay i think this person's tempted to tell you that they're they have some insecurities or maybe they aren't so sure some things they need to let go of that they're hiding right this insecurity yeah tell me about the three of pentacles yeah so I feel as though, yeah, there's a sense I feel there was a lack of cooperation. Something wasn't work. You couldn't get on the same page with this person, but they're coming around. You must have walked away from this person. I feel this is someone who walks away from their feelings, their emotions. Feel they want to come towards you. I feel like they, this person's missing you. Like they feel like they're just sort of, you know, I, I feel they're quite lonely. And I do think they want to come in. There, there's something evolving, something changing. But you know what? I think there's no change. I, I'm sorry to say I do when this person comes in. Uh, they could be a Taurus as well. You're not so sure if you believe this person, if you have any faith in this offer. So you're going to take your time and look at it. It's kind of telling you, just take your time. Just look at it. Don't make any rash decisions. The High Priestess, why is this here? Why is this here? Just one, please. There. Okay, well, we're getting two. I can take that. That's cooperation. <laughs> yeah, so I feel that this person's coming. Yeah, you know there's something here. There's something here. There's not enough clarity in the communication. Uh, this person wants a reconciliation. So you're basing your judgment on that. Um, it's sort of telling you just to kind of, just kind of be practical. Just take your time. Uh, don't be too hasty to walk away because I do think this person, they need you to build them up a little. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. They need you to build them up a bit because I do think this person is, has some insecurities. Okay, yeah, and if you know, if you turn your back on them and refuse to listen or you don't like what you're hearing, make sure you see everything clearly. Like listen to what this person has to say. Look at the details or maybe something in there. So I do feel you need more clarity. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Why is this here for Pisces? Yeah. 
justice, balance. I feel as though this person's trying to make things right with you. They're trying to say the right things, communicate in the right way. It's possible they're not quite getting it right. But make sure you listen. Make sure you look at this carefully, okay? I've got a feeling that there may be some lack in the communication, but I feel this person, they, I feel they're aware that they need to let go of some insecurities, okay? And I think that's what Spirit's trying to tell you. Tell me about the star. Maybe this person's not 100% sure if you're compatible, but they still want to come towards you. It's up to you to make that decision. Um, you know, when people get together and they date, you, not everybody knows right away if they want to be with someone. It takes time. I mean, it can take a couple of years even uh, to know if you're completely compatible. You know, it's a lifelong commitment, you know. A lot of times, people, if you're looking for someone for you know, a long-term relationship commitment in marriage, uh, it takes time to get to know each other. So if you got somebody who's kind of, you know, one foot in the door and out, maybe it's time to just look at it slowly. There could be an offer of commitment here. I feel this person does not want you to walk away. You feel like you should, though, like you're about to make this decision, but there's a lack of clarity. So it doesn't look like you're going to make a hasty decision. I feel there's some kind of balance, some kind of justice. This person's trying to make things right. They're trying to say and communicate in the right way. They're trying to balance everything. But you're maybe not seeing it. You know, there's a lack of clarity about if this is a commitment or isn't it. Yeah, You know, is this an offer of marriage? What is this? That's what it kind of looks like. You know, or is this right? Am I seeing this right? Not so sure you will. Not, you know, I, I, I see that. I kind of feel like you got the guard up too much. You got the wall up. You're not seeing something here, seeing that it looks right. There's something you may be the one missing this. Yeah, so there's that. You're getting something you want. This person, yeah, they're coming in, offering up that cup. It's a little, be careful what you wish for, you know, but I feel it's mostly them. They're feeling a little left out in the cold and lonely. Um, they want to come towards you. It's a reconciliation, but there's something a little off, okay? Something slightly off. Yeah, you are going to be tempted by this person because you've manifested this. I feel they're manifesting you too, but it's something about the delivery of the communication that it's telling you to don't, don't just cooperate and compromise a little bit don't walk away don't walk away too hasty here because i feel you may get what you want tell me about the five of pentacles why is this here yeah see somebody look at that yeah see this person they're not telling you everything they're insecure they want to have this heart to heart i swear to tell you the whole truth nothing but the truth but they don't tell you everything they don't necessarily lie they're just not communicating everything they're holding something back keeping some kind of secret all right or holding things to themselves and you see it you know right pisces you have that that detector right where your intuition kicks in but don't don't assume it's something negative or it's not um I feel like there's justice here. I, I feel that you could have Libra in your chart. They could have Libra in their chart. I feel as though this person, yeah, there's something off balance. But I feel this person wants to tell you, like, maybe they're not sure if they want to stick around, you know. If you got a new person around you and they kind of, their communication lacks. They don't reach out. They're not sharing a lot of themselves. Um, you know, you've, you're not, maybe you're not sure if you want to reciprocate, you want to, you know, because there's this lack of clarity. I, I think somebody's thinking too much here. Tell me about this Prince of Swords. Why is this here? Yeah, see? Maybe you feel like this person's not focusing on you enough or focusing on you in the right way. I want to make sure this person's focused on you, but there's something lack. I think this person's insecure to share all their feelings. I think they want to clear things up, but they just seem to have a problem with that. 
don't know why. It's Maybe they're just not sure yet if you guys are compatible. Because I see that. Maybe they walked away or you're worried they're going to come in one foot in the door and out and they're going to, you know, just turn their back and walk away. So you're trusting your intuition. I think you actually know that this person's hiding their feelings, okay? That they're hiding something. I don't necessarily feel like it's bad. Yeah, so there, this is what they need to come in balance. This is somebody who needs to become clear. They're not clear. This is the problem. They need to find that inner balance. They need to release. This person needs to release some insecurities. They need to just let go. Stop being insecure. They're strategizing something. They're thinking too much. That's a problem. This is a classic case of someone who overthinks. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus. Very strong Libra energy. But there always is when you have... Uh, the justice and the judgment card here. Tell me about the Prince of Cups. Why is the Prince of Cups here? Yeah, see this person wants to offer you that emotion. They want to start over. They want to offer you this cup. They want to, they want to have a fresh new start, like start over. And they're kind of reaching out. I, I don't know if you're sure. It's almost like you're sort of sitting here looking at this. I'm not so sure you have a lot of faith in this. Um, this because they, they're breadcrumbing. They're not really sharing everything that you need to hear. You're not getting the clarity. I'm seeing this for a lot of people. I don't know what's going on with the planets these days, everyone. See the light. Everything's turning bluish. I'm just going to step over and turn on an overhead here. Excuse me if that turns everything any glare? No, not too bad. I have windows all the way around and I like the daylight, but it's actually getting really foggy out. So, all right. Tell me about this King of Swords. What is this person thinking? They're strategizing to manifest this new beginning, this fresh new start. They're looking here at this clarity. They know they need to communicate clearly. This person's clear. They see you as someone who's a good fit. Like there's a lot of chemistry. And they need to. I feel like there's, you know, you, maybe you feel like they're manipulating you by not telling you the truth, you know, holding back, not telling you everything. So here we go, yeah. So I feel like this person is thinking about commitment, marriage. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> uh, they're trying to... I, I think this person is just not the best communicator because they're up in their head too much. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Wow. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Why is this here? Why is this here? Why is this here? Oh, okay. They want to start over. This person, this this person is coming in to express themselves and you're not believing it. The sun is here. Pisces, are you a little paranoid or something? <laughs> I kind of see this energy of there's something you don't want to hear. Or you're looking into the future at to do with justice, to do with balance, to do with this is right, is this fair? And it's telling you to be fair. Maybe you're not being fair and you're the way you're looking at this. Just move you over here. Tell me about judgment. What is this decision? What is this judgment? Yeah, I feel like it's like you want to have this new beginning, but you need clarity. You need everything to be exposed or you don't believe this person, right? I don't know. I think there's just something that you're not listening to. You're not hearing. You're not looking at clearly. There you go. Yeah, manifesting. You're both mirroring each other. You're both manifesting each other. I feel this person wants this new beginning. It's a, definitely a reconciliation for some of you, but this is a decision. Now, this is where you need to decide. You need to get, this is what it is. I think you're not clear with yourself. Whether you want to have this new beginning with this person, you need to make some kind of a decision. It has to be balanced. It has to be fair. You need to be fair with yourself, and you need to be fair with this person before you manifest them. Do you see this person as compatible? Should you move towards this person? Should you commit? Talk to this person about this? 
person, I feel they're trying to make things right. They're trying to say the right things. Tell me about justice. Why is this here? Oops. Justice. Just one card on justice. Clarity. Yeah, not so sure. You're feeling a little stuck. Yeah, you're not so sure if this is fair uh, or if this is right. I think you're not so sure if this person's right for you anymore. There's a lack of clarity here. And it's telling you to make sure you're clear before you manifest this person. Okay, before you decide to have a reconciliation, get clear. There's a need for truth and clarity. Honesty, definitely. Wow, yeah. Somebody's, because they're going to want to know what your intentions are. I, I feel like they want commitment this person's very clear that they actually want this commitment they're thinking a lot about it they see you as just right there's balance here now i feel this person's trying to kind of get out of their head right temper their thoughts temper their emotions sort of take their time find that you know that's that reconciliation finding that inner balance it's a very healing energy uh, i feel like you're going to be very tempted but you want to make sure this person's focused on you in the right way. Maybe they feel that you're not so focused on them anymore. Maybe that's what this is. I think you've lost focus on this person. You're not so sure. And you're you're but you want to make sure you make the right choice because if you're lonely and you manifest this person and they come towards you to talk to you, you have to be fair. You can't just start something with this person, start communicating. And then reject them because you all of a sudden decide that you don't want to commit to them or they're not right. Something's not right. Okay. So it's both of you really do have to. Yeah, there's a need to communicate. Something needs to be expressed. This is a beautiful new beginning. The sun is shining. It's going to be illuminated. This will be a commu clear communication. Yeah, you've got your folk very much focused on this. Some of you have turned your back on this person at some point here, and you're kind of just going to look at this, take your time. You know what you want, but you're having a hard time believing. You're standing up for yourself, standing in your power, okay? Ready to take a stand with the Queen of Wands energy. Not sure what to believe, though. Yeah, see, I don't know why you're so guarded. Maybe this person... Because I see this communication, a lot of communication back and forth. Maybe you wanted to commit to this person in the past. There was talk about it and they rejected you. Or maybe this person didn't treat you right. There were things you, that they said that you didn't think was fair. Vice versa. So I feel, yeah. Tell me about this magician. What's going on with the magician here? It's manifesting this new beginning. You feel like this person might be manipulating you or something, but they're it's like they're kind of offering you what they what you want. Because you're focused on this energy. Is this what I want? And that's what I think. You're not so sure now if you want this person. Yeah, see, you're just gonna sit here and sort of wait to see what happens. So it says to just kind of hold this, you know, you're not sure. You're Be careful what you manifest because if you manifest this person and then decide you're going to, you know, not be fair, like don't make sure that you, if you take that passionate step towards this person to communicate and then you decide that you want to reject them, it's kind of what I'm seeing here. So it's somebody that you obviously, uh, they were very slow moving. You may have left them out in the cold because they weren't reciprocating. Uh, they weren't playing fair. They didn't want to commit. And now they're coming back around again and you feel as though it's, you can't, you don't have faith in this person now. Or maybe you're not having faith in yourself that maybe you just aren't really sure if you want to now. It's what it kind of looks like. Yeah, there's some kind of a burden here. There's something here. I think you're going to just hold on and see what happens to see if this person, there may be something this person needs to take responsibility for. Or you want to see how they are. Uh, if they, because you know what, if you, if this person comes in, if you've been manifesting them and then they come in and you reject them, 
you're going to have to take responsibility for that. Like you're going to feel responsible, okay? Or they are maybe feeling responsible because this could reverse. Wow. Yeah, see? Somebody here, I see three people, three of cups, getting together, talking, sharing your feelings, manifesting this new beginning. It's, this is a joy and happiness. It's a reason to celebrate. It's getting together with friends and family. Somebody feels responsible for something. Maybe there was some gossip, something was said. You feel maybe somebody manipulated something or manipulated a situation. Careful what you manifest. <laughs> Could be this person too that's thinking about that. Uh, being careful to come in and manifest you. You know, if this is the right thing to do, if they should. Maybe they're thinking of offering you some kind of a commitment. Maybe even marriage. I see three cards here. There needs to be some truth. Tell me about this King of Swords. What is the King of Swords thinking? What's he thinking? holding on, doesn't want to let go. He's looking at the details. Someone's thinking too much. It's keeping them stuck. They're stuck in their head. They don't want to let go of you. And they know that I feel like somebody really doesn't want to commit. It's really not what they want to do. But they know you're guarded. They know they have to express themselves and they are going to, right? This is, you've got a Leo energy. Somebody has some Leo in their chart. So you're very much focused on this person. You know what you want, and this is the thing. You're going to turn around. I feel at some point you really wanted this person. They were they were that one, that person. But I feel like now you kind of lost focus on them. You're not so sure if you want this person, if you want to hold on to them anymore. Yeah, not so sure if you feel like you're compatible anymore or if you want to cooperate, if you're on the same path. You may be on a different path now. It's like you're focusing more on yourself, yeah, setting yourself free. This could move forward. I, I think you are compatible. I feel this person, it's funny because it's like what, they didn't want to commit. Now they're coming around thinking of committing, coming to tell you, okay, and now you're not sure if you want to. So you're looking back. This person's coming in to take that leap of faith, but you're looking back. I don't think you want to take this risk. You're not so sure. Yeah, this could move forward successfully, but now it's sort of like now you just want to be free because you're, you've you been focusing on yourself, your career. Very passionate about this energy right now, too. You're extremely focused. Tell me about this Queen of Staves. You know what you want, but you did, you, at one point, you did know what you want. You were defensive. You stood up for yourself. You wanted this new beginning. You wanted this person to express themselves. You wanted it. Now you're not sure. Yeah. So there's this past. Yeah, you're focused on the past, what this person did, something they did you're holding on to. You're having a hard time letting go of or vice versa. Aww. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Yeah. I, I think the two of you, honestly, I feel you should just wait and see how it goes. I feel that there's some kind of burden, something here that someone needs to take responsibility for something. Maybe, I don't know, it could be a third party situation. Somebody was getting attention from other people. I'm not sure. I don't feel really feel a lot of that. I feel mostly there may have been some gossip, too many people involved. Somebody may be feeling responsible for that. Somebody wasn't putting in the work. I feel like this could work out, though. I feel like you got together and talked. I feel that you could work this out. Maybe you're feeling kind of weighed down and burdened by this, and you're going to talk to your friends. They may tell you to just put a little work into this. Something to do with work, friends. There may have been gossip at work. Yeah, see, both of you want this. You both want this. I can see it. This is a soulmate connection, and I feel as though, just give, I feel like you should just give this some time, because um, I feel like there's just something this person needs to take responsible, responsibility for. Maybe they just don't want 
you know, that maybe you're feeling you just want to be friends now. And just sort of keep it at friends for now to see how things work out. I think you're going to friend zone this person when they come back or they're going to friend zone you until they see how things work out. Uh, it's a soulmate connection though. Yeah, so that's what's going on. Oh my gosh, you guys. So here you wanted this relationship. Something you wanted. And now that this person's finally coming around to offer this to you, you're not so sure you want it anymore. It's been too long. You've, I think they know it too. I think they know it. They feel insecure. They feel like you're not as focused on them. Maybe they feel like you're going out meeting other people because you're not putting a lot of effort towards them or this connection. I think you're going to friend zone them and just see how it goes. That's what it looks like. Or they're going to friend zone you. You are soulmates though, yeah. Yeah, there's something that you guys need. There's some healing that needs to be. You guys both need to heal. Uh, you do need to mend this situation. There's some work that you both need to put some work in. There's something that needs to be released that you're holding on to or this person needs to take responsibility or you need to take responsibility for something that happened possibly in the past that you're still focused on or they're still focused on take it how it resonates strange reading but yeah oh my goodness one more card what is the outcome of this situation for pisces and their love interest what's the outcome yeah feeling lonely feeling like there's no hope yeah, someone's feeling pretty left out, feeling lonely, feeling a little insecure. And I'm hoping this person, if you go towards somebody and they reject you, I certainly hope not, but I do feel like this could mend. Someone feels there's no hope. There's a lot of insecurity. Yeah, someone's burdened by something. Maybe there was some kind of gossip or something that affected the, you two that's bothering this person or bothering you. Me about orphan maybe something their family said yeah there's a need for some flexibility i think this person you need you need to build this person up this is being flexible you know that's like the three of pentacles energy right being flexible cooperating compromising don't bend over too far uh, completely backwards for this person um i, I feel like this, I just feel like this person needs you to build them up a bit. They need a little bit more self-esteem uh, to do with this. And yeah, see, and that's, yeah, so they can come out feeling better. Yeah, they need to raise their vibration. You, you maybe have a higher vibration. Maybe they do. Maybe your vibration is a little low right now if you're lonely. It depends who you are in this. Like literally um it's really hard to tell who's because it's almost like you're mirroring each other in some ways but look at that someone feels there's no hope to have this new beginning but your soulmates there's a need to cooperate compromise to be a little bit be flexible a little bit pisces okay or maybe this person needs to be flexible if you're feeling a bit insecure vice versa take it how it is if you're not insecure about this um then it's definitely them and it does feel like it's them uh, that feels it's kind of hopeless but this is the higher power pisces look at that trusting your vibration vibrating on a higher level maybe you just this person needs to be built up a little bit uh, they feel maybe they're just a bit emotionally drained from this situation i'm just going to check into this what is this higher power why is this here a little bit more depth on this very intuitive yeah, I think your intuition is going to tell you this person just needs to be built up just a little bit. I feel, you know, a lot of times, did we have that? Yeah, see, somebody who comes in, uh, someone with a little bit of an ego, they need some attention. I think if you give this person a little bit of attention and acknowledge, something just needs to be acknowledged here. And I feel this actually could work out. I don't feel like it's like a massive deal. Somebody may have got some hurt feelings or something at some point, feels a bit insecure, or you do when this person comes back. Yeah, there needs to be some patience. Yeah, this is calling for being a little bit patient. Don't judge this 
this too quickly because you're not there's a lack of clarity at why this person lacks sharing their feelings why they're not reciprocating okay <laughs> you guys are tough Whew. all right you guys take care of yourselves so hopefully if you need someone to be patient with you till you you know you're feeling better or it's telling you to be patient uh, vibrate on a higher level just trust your intuition that it's you need to just take your time i think this person does want to invest i think you just need to you know wait a little bit of time give them the opportunity be a little flexible a little bit of compromise back and forth here okay so take care bye for now